my dear students in this question it is given that a solid sphere having uniform volume charge density rho and radius r a spherical cavity of radius r by 2 hollowed out this is the cavity radius r by 2 center of cavity is o1 center of sphere is at o volume charge density is rho we know that if volume charge density is uniform then electric field inside the cavity will be uniform and its, its direction is from O to O1 like this. This is the direction of electric field and this is uniform field inside the cavity and its value is given by E equal to rho upon 3 epsilon naught into this distance O O1. O O1. Distance between O and O1 is R by 2 then this electric field will be equal to rho upon 3 epsilon naught into r by 2. This will be given by rho into r upon 6 epsilon naught. This is the uniform electric field. And if electric field is uniform, then delta V is given by <coughs> minus E dot delta R. <coughs> minus E dot delta R. How we know that the potential of O will be higher than potential of O1 <coughs> because in the direction of electric field electric potential decreases then O will be at higher potential and O1 will be at lower potential then directly we can write potential of O minus potential of O1. If we know that this value is high this value is low then this value will be positive then we will write the positive value of this term this will be equal to electric field E into delta r we will take angle 0 degree to e into delta r value of delta r is this distance between o and o1 and this will be equal to r by 2 if we write v o1 minus v naught then we will put then we will put negative sign here if we will write v naught minus v o1 then remove the negative sign from here this will be value will be equal to e into r by 2 put the value of electric field from here we get v naught minus v o1 equal to electric field is rho into r upon 6 epsilon naught rho into r upon 6 epsilon naught into r by 2 this value will be equal to rho into r square upon 12 epsilon naught according to question this potential difference is given by rho into r square upon n epsilon naught rho into r square upon n into epsilon naught comparing these two values we get n equal to 12 then final answer will be 12 final answer is 12 thank you